Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. This is the second video I'm doing. Uh, we're putting together a little compass dial diagram for help me teach people how to Kogo. So in the last video, we put up the we created these ring shapes and we put some compass ticks around the edge of the dial. We put in these numbered quadrants. So what we want to do now is just label some. Um, I might label some bearings and azimuths around the edges here. So let's get our text tool, and we're just going to start where this is easiest. So I'm going to start down here. Oop. Try that again. There we go. So this is going to be north, zero, zero, dash, zero, zero. Nope. Sorry, this is north, 90, dash, zero, zero, dash, zero, zero, east. <clears throat> I'm going to make that black. And we're going to actually change that font to Dosis, which is one of the other fonts we use here. And then I'm going to make it a little smaller. It's weird that it says that font size is like that. Let's try 10. Yeah. All right, so I got something going on with my font size. That is really weird. I don't know if that if it's doing that in inches maybe. It's a little bit weird. All right, so and I don't I don't want this text centered. So let's Go ahead and left justify it. Okay, and what we're going to do here, it looks like I need a little more room. I'm going to make that a little bigger. We're going to go 0 0.2. So we need a little more room on our page. All right, so let's recenter this. I need a little more room on my page there for the text. We're gonna recenter that. Oh. And now we're gonna just copy this and we're gonna put the azimuth down below. So this is an azimuth. So I'm gonna just put AZ. Sorry guys, sometimes my Computer freezes up a little bit with the with the screen recorder on. So this is ninety zero 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 zero. Okay, so that was the easy one. These other ones are a little bit tricky. So we're going to duplicate this text over here, but we need to <clears throat> change the justification because we're on the other side of the dial. So I'm going to hit the text tool and we're going to left justify those. And then we'll pull them over here again. Actually, we want that down there. Now, probably what I want, so I'm snapping these to the grid, but what that means is they're not evenly, evenly spaced around the tick. So let me show you how you fix that. We're going to just draw a shape here that helps us align our text. So we're going to select our text and then this rectangle that we're using for alignment. We're going to go over to align and distribute and we're going to center. Nope. I only want to center it vertically. And we'll do the same thing. We'll drop this down and then we'll center this vertically. Okay. So now the nice thing is uh, the gap, whoop, the vertical gap now is the same. So we want to repeat that over here. So we're just going to align, whoop, we're going to align, man, I just messed that all up. We're going to align this text again, just vertically, not horizontally. 
Okay, so <clears throat> now for the, for the top and the bottom, we can just actually duplicate these. Um, so what we're going to do, let's, I don't know if this is going to work, we're going to try this. We're going to make this a group. Mm, where's my group? Where's my group button? Is it down here? Yeah. We're going to make that a group. We're going to double click the group. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so we're going to click it one time, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull my rotation over here. We're going to duplicate it, and then we're going to go back to transform. And what we can do is we can actually rotate this stuff around our dial so that we don't have to mess with that. Now, <clears throat> that side of the dial we want all to be uh, right justified. Sorry guys, I messed that up. Uh, but these need to be uh, these need to be left justified, these need to be right justified. So we're going to do the same thing here. Can you delete these now. We're going to group these together. We're going to click it one time. We're going to pull that rotation center over to the center of the circle. <clears throat> we're going to duplicate Oop. I forgot to duplicate. Duplicate one more time. Okay, so now we have uh, the text all the way around our dial. And what we can do now is we can go in and uh, we can edit this text. I'm going to pause the video because you don't need to watch me do that. Uh, let me just do the first one. I noticed I'm missing a. So we have to ungroup those in order for that to work. We got to ungroup. So let's go ahead and ungroup. Now we can just double click these and make the edits we need. I don't know why it's not letting me. Is my numlock on? For some reason, it's not letting me put in a dash there, which is weird. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll, I'll edit these values. Okay, guys, so I got my text all edited. So you can see we start here and we work our way, we work our way around the compass dial. Um, I think that's about all I want to do. We might add a little... I'm going to add a little circle here, make it black, bring that up to the front, there you go. Uh, so that might be about it. Now sometimes you can see Inkscape does this weird thing, like we didn't get these, we didn't get these quite snapped to where I wanted. So we can fix those gaps real quick. And... So I might have dorked that up. Let's see here. That looks good to me. That looks good. So a couple of these shapes I might have just... This, this, this gray fill may not be correct now because I, these were slightly off when I made those. See, I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous now that I didn't get these drawn right. So that one looks good. And then it comes down here. That looks good. I don't know why this one is off. That is really weird. So really what I should be able to do is just snap all these to the center. 
Let's try that. Let's get this out of the way. That might not that might make it impossible to do that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with this. Yeah. See when I did these circles, I should have made them come out here to a to a an even edge like this. So I might have to redo these. Uh, let me redo these real quick, guys, and then I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, guys, so I think I got this fixed. No gap there now, so that looks a little better. So what we want to do now is we're going to export this. So we'll save it, and then we'll say export. And I'm going to go ahead and set my background color to white. And we're going to export that as a PNG. And then we can also save it as a PDF. And then we'll go take a look at that. Nope. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Save. Okay, so I think that's saved out. Let's go pop that open real quick. So here's the PDF. And uh, it's vector, so it's nice and crisp if you if you zoom in. Okay, but we also have a, a JPEG or a PNG. Okay, it looks pretty good. It gets a little blurry as you zoom in, but that's something now you could easily print out and uh, tape on your desk for when you're doing Kogos. So took me a little longer than I than I thought, but uh, about 20 minutes, we got a nice diagram. I noticed some of my cat techs had handwritten, had sketched this diagram out now. So now we've got something that looks a little more professional, and we can use that when we do our Kogo tutorial videos for CAD. We can have this dial pulled up. So hopefully you learned a few little things about Inkscape watching this, and I appreciate you guys tuning in to the channel.